Hey, good morning, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvement, Putnam, Connecticut, out here doing our normal morning routine of uploading shock onto the rig, getting some water going, etc. And my good friend Keston Penacook asked me why I do this at night and not in the morning. And it's simply because when I get home from work at the end of the day, my family is all home and it's family time. And, you know, they demand my attention immediately. I can't come home and continue to do things that are work oriented and in the morning here everyone is gone my wife goes to work the kids go to school everything else is you know nice and quiet so it's my time to get myself organized for the day in the morning i got toast going in the house right now you know getting my truck loaded up making my yard signs and generally getting prepped for the day and making my plan so that's why i do this in the morning and not at night it's simply timing and it's my best window to be able to quietly do what I need to do without taking time away from anybody else. All right, red gun. Guys are asking me how come I'm not using the red gun. I do use the red gun nearly every single day. It really depends on the project. If I've got decking or fan sweeping kind of work that I need to do, I prefer the M5 or the X-Jet. If I got a lot of wind, I need that shooter tip. This gun's got more fray than the shooter tip does. So just comes down to a tool for the job. It's pretty windy today. I might have to wind up switching up. If I can use the red gun, I'm going to. I love it. So I'm trying to play a little wind here today. I'm in my own neighborhood, by the way. I live right around the corner. So, and I'm so tired of eating bleach, man. The wind has been just nasty. I think this is the same story for everybody. I keep getting a lot of comments about the wind. I see other guys posting videos like Mike shooting in the wind. And I got to figure out like some kind of sock face shield something because I'm just getting like chapped, man. Bleach in the face all day long. And then you have to wash yourself with cold water. See, we need to wait for the wind to die for a sec. <clears throat> there we go. Is it stealing my stream here? I washed this house my first year in business with my two and a half gallon per minute machine and a 24 foot power washing extension wand and simple green. It's like one of the one of the first two or three houses that I ever washed. In, this, in my neighborhood. I also washed a neighbor's house as one of my first washes. And it was so strenuous using that extension wand. And then again, not even using the right chemicals. So I'm surprised how clean this house still is. But we're gonna do a much better job today with a lot less effort. done <clears throat> 35 minutes i got here a few minutes past nine nice two family came out great took my time again neighborhood friend and it is freaking cold out here man it's like 41 degrees i think is what i just took a picture of nasty wind blowing i'm getting tired of it it's almost may let's have some warm weather Okay, I'm all set up on my next project. I got this little cedar shaked ranch that's reasonably dirty. Uh, we're gonna be using SH on here, that's my process. I don't use anything else. Currently, I know there's other better ways to treat wood, but it's not part of my arsenal at this point. This has got normal dinge and mildew on it, which I expect I'm gonna relieve pretty easily with my house wash we have in the past so I'm praying for the same result that I normally get we got a couple dirty sides and a couple reasonably clean sides and the house will be getting resealed and stained when we're done uh, we got flowers everywhere flower beds everywhere kind of a pain snaking my hose through here now this time I'm using the snub nose with the M5, the 7 to 12 M5, because I like the fan pattern. 
All right, I'm gonna probably do some rinsing that's fan patterned here to make sure I like it. So that's why I chose this tool today. All right, that has dramatically improved already just from uh, five or so minutes worth of dwell time while I soak the back. I'm gonna try to keep this end and the other and the back side wet for a few minutes. Maybe soak it one more time and uh, begin my rinse. This place came out so much nicer. It's coming out so much nicer. Gutters look beautiful. Gutters look beautiful. No damage. I'm all set up and washing on this little salt box, cape style house, vinyl siding, our normal routine, picked up Patrick, did a short day of school, wanted to hang out, which I'm always down for hanging out. So picked him up, had some lunch, and now we're going to wash. I'm out here on the next wash, Red Gun, one level or two level ranch. Nice easy shot from the ground. Nice black gutters. Gonna come real fresh with our system. And should be quick and easy. Probably gonna put the 16 up there. I like to shoot these galleys. Do a real nice job on those. And we're gonna do the little shed. Give me a piece of cake. Anything interesting happens, I'll be sure to show you. We're set up and running on the next house. We got this little cape in my hometown, vinyl siding, nice easy one. I got the ladder set up here because of the wind. I want to make sure I get a good shot up in there, ream it out accordingly. Looks like there was some painting done on this siding or something at one point. Not expecting those brush looking mark things to come off. Lady said, don't bother moving these things. A lot of them are attached to the house. You can see the siding move. So we're washing right around, right through all of that stuff. And it's springtime here in New England, so everyone's got this stuff planted. And here's the back. Should be quick and simple.